Max back with another attack. So come on in and just relax. Hit subscribe and join the fun. You're Zach to the future now, son. What's up, YouTube? Zach's back with another attack, and Ella's here too. So, um, I just wanted to say first off, thank you guys, because I am at the time of recording this, and I know that by the time this gets posted, um, sometime tomorrow for sure, uh, if not tonight maybe even, um, it's going to be even less than this, but I am currently uh, 773 video views away from 10,000 video views. That's um, it's gonna be a big deal for me. So, um, I know that 773, Alec, quit pulling. <laughs> I know that 773 is still, uh, seems like quite a bit, but it's really not. I mean, I've got videos that have 4,000 views and then a couple that have 1,000 and um, yeah, I've got some videos that get like five or 10 but um, it really adds up, and either way, just the fact that I'm at almost 9,200 views is really, really cool for me, and um, I've worked really hard on all my videos. I think I've got 35 videos up right now, so I don't know what the average is out to, <laughs> but I know that... Uh, I'm working really hard to make sure that I'm getting content and that I'm getting good content and uh, figuring out what you guys like and how to uh, continually improve. So uh, you can definitely leave me a comment below if there's a specific thing you want to see, if there's a way that you think I can improve my videos or, you know, just tell me good job, congrats, you know, I, I'm, I'm really proud and I might do something once I hit that 10,000 subscribers. Um, not entirely sure what yet, but uh, I've been thinking about stuff, so um, we'll see what happens. I know definitely once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to give away $100 probably, um, maybe less. I'm still figuring out the details and how it's going to be ran and um, how I can make sure it's not being cheated and stuff like that. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That way once we get to 100, uh, I believe we're at 34 right now. Um, you can be eligible for the giveaway. So, thanks guys. So, I realized today that in three weeks from today is my wedding. Um, and I mean, it, it, it's not like I haven't realized that before. You know, obviously it's quickly approaching. But, I finally realized today that it's three weeks away. Like, that's crazy. Um, it means in 21 short days, um, I will be marrying my best friend. And it's really crazy to think because I remember on this porch, this is where it all started, guys. This porch right here. And it's nuts because I met Ashley, shoot, I don't know if it was seven, eight years ago something like that but I know that several years ago a long time ago we were little kids at that point it's crazy we met and Ashley invited me to her birthday party I think it was like her uh, sweet 16 maybe something like that 15 15th I think actually and I came to this porch and um, we had like a Hawaiian themed party. Uh, I remember having lays around all of our necks and um, this is really where it all started. That was like our first date. We had our first kiss that day and that was my first kiss ever, ever, you know? So I, I knew at that point that I wanted my first kiss to be something incredible, something really special with somebody really special. Somebody posted today on Facebook asking uh, how do you know when you found the one they said if you have found the one how do you know that they are the one well here's my view I don't think that there is a the one I think that 
Life can go so many different directions and there's so many things that can happen within your life that it's hard to say that there's one person out there no matter who you are and that one person will be your one and if you don't find them then you're just screwed you know I don't like that logic I don't like that mentality I think that there's a lot of people and your paths can cross in a million different ways and when you do find that person whose path you cross and you get this feeling that um, is somewhat indescribable but I'll do the best I can I guess because that's my job here so it's like your heart skips a beat, which is hella cliche, I know. Sorry about the glare. Your heart skips a beat and your breath is taken away. It's a feeling, you know? It's not a surefire thing. There's not a sign that comes out and says, that's your person, you better take care of her, you better treat her well. And I wish it was that easy, I do, I do. But I know that it's not always easy. I mean, Ashley and I have broken up many times. Um, at least three or four. Um, and obviously we got back together. We've now been together for three years straight, over three years straight. And it's amazing. I don't plan on any more breakups happening. But again, we met when we were like 15. So, you know, it's hard to make that work forever. And if you really love somebody, if you really, really love somebody, things will work out. And that's what you gotta remember because when I saw Ashley, I knew I wanted her to be my first kiss. And as I said, I wanted my first kiss to be essentially with the person I was gonna marry. So anytime we broke up, it was really, really hard because I felt like this is the girl I want to marry. This is the girl I want to spend the rest of my life with. And being a 15 year old saying this crap, it's like, who are you? And what, are you, what authority do you have to feel this way, to think this way? Everyone said, you're too young to know what love is. You, you know, you can't be saying that. You don't know what those emotions are yet. But I did, I did. And I didn't fully know, I don't, I didn't know love like I do now. Um, and I'll admit that, but I did know what love was, and I knew that I was in love with that girl right there. Ashley was the one for me. She was not the one that the universe aligned for me to meet and be with. I don't think I could be entirely wrong, but with divorce rates as high as they are and with fights as crazy as they are and everything, I just, I can't see the universe screwing everybody over by making there be one person and like I said if you don't find them then game over but I do think that as soon as I knew Ashley as soon as I met her I thought that I was going to marry her and I thought that she was the person who I was willing to fight to be with the person that I was willing to go through good and bad and do whatever it takes do anything to marry that girl and be with her forever and I screwed it up many times I you know, and things happen. Life gets in the way. We were dumb kids. Half the time I think we're dumb adults now. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we're in love. And um, just because the universe doesn't say that she's my one, and the one and only, if you will, then that doesn't mean that I can't say that she's my one. And that's how I feel. I have chosen her, I have decided that she is the one, the only, the person that I will do anything to be with, that I will fight and get through the fights and continue working my ass off to be with her as long as I possibly can, to enjoy as many moments as I can and try and be an optimist through the bad times because good or bad, I'm in it, I'm in it with her and honestly I wouldn't have it any other way. So that's how I know that I've found the one. Okay, so I'm looking at a list of uh, license plates that Arizona has rejected. They've got like, OMFG, move, <laughs> pie hole, just don't give a F, <laughs> more beer, uh, wiener dog, <laughs> ass man, nope, they got, <laughs> 
old perv, weenie, I pass gas, send nudes, little fart, da bomb, wanker, the poop, ooh poop, da booger, I do do, <laughs> yuck, f you, <laughs> they got, hell yeah, white boy, lil poop, hey ugly, they got, <laughs> you retarded. Um, white trash, whoop ass. Fart gun, F you pervert. These nuts. 